Welcome back to the Drop Frame Super Bowl Sunday edition. If you missed the halftime show, Zeke was uh, pole dancing. Uh, you can check it out on the subscriber-only stream. Over on, uh, if I say a link here, I might actually go too far and get banned on this. So let's just stop. I, uh, I was not, no, 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 no. I was not pole dancing. I was, um, mo I was just moving around in my hot tub with a swimsuit on, which is appropriate for being in a hot tub yeah, yeah. appropriate attire for being in a hot i tub. mean you can also pole dance on twitch that's legal that's it's fine it's an exercise i like the part when you lick the microphone oh here's, ah, yeah, that was great he's right? doing more than licking um yeah. uh, no topical that was hilarious you guys saw that you i know co obviously did. you see that clip <laughs> yeah that shit was hilarious it, it existed yeah. i was yeah yep wild <laughs> what yep. is the only uh, comment i have on that uh or else i'll get fined uh <laughs> let's uh let's toss toss it over to lost ark let's go over there uh co we're gonna drop into your gameplay right now as you are rushing through what probably is north Vern. what's going on where you um yeah we'll absolutely. be fielding exactly questions from doing. chat uh while this is going on so if you have any questions yeah ask these guys about lost ark give me something to do Thank you. yeah yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm currently working through North Vern, trying to keep up desperately with my fellow Team Arkesia people that have significantly more time than I do. Dude, <laughs> and, I, um... I'll be honest with you. I have put, I'm looking, I've put 58 hours into the game. There are people I'm that... I'm so jealous. There's people oh, that Ashley, have like... Ashley on our team. Yeah. She linked a thing uh, in, her, in our chat where she has put 102, what, 102 hours, yeah. I think, into this. Um, it's astronomical. Yeah, it's insane, dude. And Absolutely here's insane. here's the crazy part about it, uh, which kind of speaks to how much of that game there actually is. One hundred three point one hours. Yep. They have. I don't. As far as I know, I haven't tuned into their stream. I don't think they're at tier three content yet. Uh, they're hmm. they're still tier two content. So they haven't even seen. I would say like they they're probably seen like sixty, maybe seventy percent of the content in the game, um, which is is just there's so the alone started farming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so much stuff to do, um, and it 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 is definitely a game that. Um, well, I mean, I'll just I'll pull up footage of it. This this stuff, yeah. I would say this stuff is like story spoilery, but you don't really. Hey, as somebody who loves stories, don't. I mean, it's I just yeah. Like, I, I I honestly let me just put it this way, and I'm and I'm gonna say this as kindly as I can. I was more interested in the story of Path of Exile sure. than Lost Ark. Yeah. I'd say that's apt. Yeah. I'd say that's absolutely apt. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I think is the best content that I played so far in Lost Ark in my 50 hours. Uh, oh, that being said, there are some really cool parts in the story. I yeah. will say that. Yeah. There are some very, very cool parts in the story. Like some really great missions. Some super cool, almost Lord of the Rings style, like culminations. Like there's some really cool stuff that happens in the story. It's just like overall, like all the stuff between those parts is just complete snooze fest. I'll, I'll double up on that and uh, maybe go a little hyperbolic with this next statement. Uh, this dungeon that I'm doing right here, probably up there in terms of like some of the best MMO dungeons I've ever done. It, oh, what's this it, one? It takes a like leap forward in what they are putting in this game drastically at this point towards the end of a area called Rohindal. Uh, it is phenomenal. Uh, and the, the mechanics that you start doing start being very interesting. And it's not just like, get out of the way of the boss. It's, you know, here you're matching buffs with the floor and the, uh, it'll keep playing. You'll kind of see some of the final boss stuff. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, you know, Lost Ark, if you haven't seen any of this, it's it's an MMO wrapped in kind of Diablo 3 PoE style gameplay, um, but it is, in its truest form, an MMO. There is a massive amount of game here. It is uh, kind of, you level 1 to 50, you hit 50, and then in the truest sense of the statement, the actual game starts. There is so much going on, uh, and Ko's about to hit that point. So Ko is about to become inundated with about 40 different things you could do, uh, you should be doing. Um, and it can be very, very, and is uh, very, very overwhelming 
with just how many options. Um, I don't even know how to occur. unlock the big dungeons that I'm supposed to be farming. Like apparently there's a quest or something I need to do for those. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, it depends. There's a bunch of different stuff. Um, yeah. To rattle it off, you can do chaos dungeons. You can do abyss dungeons. You can do uh, guardian raids. You can do uh, hard versions of all that. You can do islands. You can do. <laughs> Right. Like the, there's just a shit ton of stuff that you're about to see. Um, there is like proper there. there is the min max way to do all that, uh, which I think is where a lot of people on Twitch are maybe getting hung up because. Is, is streamers participating in this event that me and co are in one of the things that we do is there's kind of these guidelines, these objectives behind the scenes that when we do that, our team gets points and as the points unlock, we get more point uh more drops on the stream and in a cool way the objectives kind of guide you through the process as as a min maxer would because they were made by a min maxer a bunch of people that consultant on it are actually people that have played this game for thousands of hours and so they did kind of a nice guide with that uh, however it is definitely a min maxers route and so most of the people that you see streaming it are following that Last night, I was very surprised when I asked my chat, like, what are you guys doing right now in content? And there were a very large amount of people that were doing every quest. And I mean every quest. They weren't just doing the main object, like the main quest, which is what you're, quote, supposed to do. They were doing everything. Um, and if you go about it, you could definitely do that. It's just going to add so much amount of time to what you're doing. Not necessarily like a bad thing. 30 to 40 hours, probably, yeah. if not more. Yeah. But... One of the things in this game is that every single thing that you do benefits you or your character progression in multiple ways. Uh, there's like a, there's a rapport system, which is basically like a rep system, um, kind of wrapped in this basically romancing characters, essentially. You can give them gifts and all that stuff. But some I found of those, my girl today. Some of those characters won't even talk to you until you have a certain amount of stats. Uh, and these stats are only for this rapport system. And by doing side quests, you can get beneficial stats to upgrade all that type of stuff. Um, here's another system right here on screen. This little seed that I'm picking up that is hidden oh. off map. There are 1,209 of these in the world that you can get. <laughs> They're basically Korok seeds from Legend of Zelda, uh, Breath of the Wild, if you played that. Um, 1,200, 1,209 exist. Uh, they are hidden so much so that there is a website that I have open on a monitor that is dedicated to that monitor where anytime I enter a zone, I click the zone and it shows me where all the core oxides essentially are. In How many do you have? I'm only up at like 209 because we got objective points for getting 200. And so the zone that I'm in. Huh? Oh, maybe it's 150. Oh yeah, you're right. It is 150. It is 150. Yeah. Have you, and you stopped collecting them after that? Yeah, I'm at I'm 209. The zone that I'm in right now, it starts needing requirements to even get to the area where they are. So it's like in this zone, mm -hmm. Rohendal, which is a very late game zone. Well, it's not even a late game zone. It's a it's towards the end of tier one, if people playing know what that is. Um it requires a song that you get from completing the adventure book for the zone. And so you have to go to the zone, do everything in the zone, and then you get a song that unlocks access to these different seeds. Um, and so that's kind of the type of game that you're getting uh, in terms of what type of grind you can expect. Here's uh, potentially one of the coolest boss fights that I've seen thus far in the game. Um, it goes on for quite some time, and there's a lot of craziness happening. We'll just leave it I shouldn't watch some of this. Um, eh, yeah, I mean, it, it, if you want to... Uh, it might spoil some of the fight for you, but it also kind of shows you what yeah. you're getting into um, for people that are curious at all. But yeah, it, it's a massive game, I, I think is the is what I'll distill everything that I can say about it. Uh, so much so that it's it's the addiction is like incredibly strong for me right now. I definitely have like a lot of early day POE uh, pull towards the game. Uh, I have a checklist, <laughs> a notepad file that has about 18 lines that I've updated every day when I log off after a 15 hour stream of what I want to do the What's next day. Uh, shit to do on Sunday. 
Island for blue class engraving chest. Islands for harmony shards. Do abyss dungeon. Hildebrand palace. Hit 600 level for tier two unlock. Cube key question mark. Follow Reddit guide. Make alt. Tower on alt. Tower on main for shards. Repair the stronghold ship. Do ice wing heights treasure maps. Do rapport, you idiot. Do Una dailies. Buy merchant ship materials. That's a weekly. Do all the rest of your dailies. Rapport buds so far. And then the people that I've actually spoken to for my rapport. Uh, <laughs> What's the point of the rapport stuff? Uh, eventually they give you stats and eventually they give you giant hearts and eventually they give you uh, island things. They just unlock. Oh. They have like four or five different unlocks that are all beneficial and all useful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot going on in the game. Uh, hmm. And system wise there's i don't know it based probably like 10 different systems to understand uh some of which you're gonna hit pretty soon once you talk once you get into north Vern and finish that uh, and you'll be a little bit overwhelmed I, I certainly was it's a guide that demands either a lot of reading in game or having five tabs open with different things that tell you what to do um because the game has been out in Korea now for, I think, a little over two years, maybe three years. So it's, quote, figured out, right? The the min-max, the best options, the best everything, best routes, the best islands to do. That stuff is already kind of set in and figured out. People that are playing now uh, that are, like, super far ahead are people that have already played on the Korea servers and then also the Russia servers. So they've already made multiple characters and they've already done this multiple through the times. release twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've done this multiple times. And so they're very, very aware of what to do. Um, but yeah, that's, I guess that's my, my, that's the short of it on lost Ark. There's a lot that I, I want to say about the game. I think that, the leveling process is fine. I think the class I'm playing a support class and I got through all of the, the solo content just fine. And I still can progress in it. It's not like I'm, I'm hindered by any of that. I'm doing the dungeons just fine damage wise and all that. A uh, lot of different classes. There's 15 different classes. They're all pretty varying in type of uh, abilities and, and options. Coast playing an artillerist, basically a giant gun guy that transforms uh, it's the gun from fifth element. Yeah. Yeah. You can, I watched, uh, I was doing a guardian raid, which is the equivalent of uh monster hunter where there's no HP bar for the boss that you're fighting. Uh, and it's just a giant monster that has like telegraphed moves and one shots. Um, and there's a lot of them. I think there's 12 or 15 in the game right now. There's four for tier or there's four in the first part. I just unlocked the second set of four um, and they have raid mechanics. They have one shot mechanics. Uh, you have to, it's, it's monster hunter. You have three lives or you get kicked out of the dungeon. There's flares that show you where they're at on the, the arena. It's straight up monster hunter um, and kind of a Diablo slash POE ARPG thing. Um, but I do think the 12 to 20 hours that it will take you for first time getting up to 50 it's it's almost like not even a real like it it is the game but it's not a real depiction of what that game actually is uh I'm, like code do you, have you experienced that at all do you, do you understand what um, i'm saying when i say that do you i, I that? see what you're saying completely that's it's like there's so much to do at the end of the game that it's not really like you're going to be doing completely different things essentially at yeah. the end of the game yeah um i'm not there yet i'm still working through Vern, like we were talking about earlier but um, I'm looking forward to checking it out. It's one of the reasons that I'm playing the game. It's one of the reasons that I hooked up with the Legends of the Lost Ark thing on Twitch because I've heard really, really good things about the end game in this game, and I'm hoping that it kind of hooks me as much as the rest of it has. Yeah, yeah. And there's, I, I think the one thing that you're going to struggle with, and I think a lot of people will as well, is that it demands time, right? Like there's so much that, depending on how you're wanting to approach it, there's so much yeah. to do on any given day. Um, just like logging in and doing your dailies, right? I mentioned making an alt. It is uh, much like Destiny when you, if you've played Destiny and you've done um, like a launch, when you level alts, you can like skyrocket your light level in Destiny. Kind of works the same way in this. You can do your dailies on an alt. Those dailies drop materials that then are used on your main to upgrade your gear score. So you do two alts. The game gives you two free alts, basically. Once you get to a certain point in the story, you get an item. Then you just get a level 50 character. 
So then it basically, it gives you the idea that you can just go and create an alt to get more time out of you, essentially, is what it really is. Uh, and then you do your dailies on your alt, you transfer those materials to your main, and then your main gets stronger because of that. And I know people uh, that are playing right now on the US release that have like five to six alts that they've leveled off stream because they can do it so fast. <laughs> and so they're feeding themselves that much extra materials and they're skyrocketing in terms of where they're at in the content. Um, and the top, the top tier is three, right? Yeah, right now the top tier for US is uh, the beginning part of tier three. In Korea, there's a lot more uh, of tier three unlocked that we, you know, they're, they're staggering the release. But they've already said that they're gonna release that on kind of a monthly schedule. Um, they had like a, a pre, the night prior to early access launching, they interviewed the, the head of the game and he basically said like, players might be asking us to stop releasing content because we're gonna have so much stuff available at such a rapid pace that it probably will be overwhelming. And I can kind of see that because I hit 50 and I was already overwhelmed. Uh, and I would start the next day saying like, okay, I understand this. I would end that stream. I don't have a fucking clue <laughs> what is going on. I, I got to figure out all this stuff. I got to watch a video on this. I got to follow a guide on this, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, that, that's Lost Dark in kind of a nutshell. I, Zeke, you've probably been watching the chat, I think, How? as well for, for comments. What's the average time like spent to get like max level? 12 to 20 hours depending on how fast you rush it. You can speed run it in like eight, I think, if you know what you're doing. Okay. Real quick, two um, things to say. Oh, go ahead. I was just wondering, do they have, like, is there cool stuff to do on your way to 50? Or yeah. is it just like, oh, yeah. Eh, yeah, there, it's, it's, it is a grind because it's sure. an MMO. But, yeah, there's cool stuff. Like, the story has cool, interesting set pieces. And, um, yeah. you know, you, you unlock your ship which I haven't even discussed yet. There is an entire world map for sailing. And when I say there's an entire world map, there's 91 islands that you can go and visit, which are all their own zones. There's entire continents, which you unlock story uh, related content that have multiple zones in those. Um, I don't have a, I, I could skip around, maybe try to find that so you can just see what it is. But yeah, you get that at 35 in the single player. Right. Or sorry, in, in in the campaign, the main campaign, not single player, uh, to refer to it. Is there one just one path to fifty, or yes. can you get there by doing other things? Okay. Yeah, you do the main story. You follow around <laughs> the the orange quest essentially. Okay. And then once you That's hit fifty, how you well, yes. Once you hit thirty five, then you start following the blue quest. <laughs> they they switch it up on you for whatever reason. The orange quest still okay. exists, but it becomes the overarching story, uh, and you don't really interact with it anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I was random. So what dog what dog. what level is Ollie? Uh, well, if I could train Ollie to play, actually, oh no, I didn't name. I named. You can get a pet in the game. Doesn't do anything. It's it's like a storage and and auto loots for you and stuff like that. That's Neville. So I have a cat in game that's oh, named after my cat but i don't have an ollie just yet uh someone in my chat was saying there's no fashion no fashion souls or or, or you know fashion end game like is that not a part of this uh there's no transmog system outright like uh like final fantasy or world of warcraft there is uh there is like real money uh fashion but they don't have that many skins in the game yet this armor that i'm wearing right now is a skin that you get with the which I don't think you can buy anymore. I got with the platinum. There, apparently there is transmog. Oh, there is a transmog system just straight up. There's skins, which are paid stuff, which is what I'm wearing. I don't know if there's a transmog system. Um, if there is, I haven't unlocked it yet. So, but yeah. Uh, that, I mean, a lot of that was the one thing like, I found like when I actually got way back when max leveled in, uh, in Final Fantasy 14, I was like, what do you guys do now? Well, we do dungeons, but we also just like find find new outfits to wear. And I'm like, what? Like, yeah, we we just get outfits and we like, you know, see how they look. And I was like, okay. So cool. there is a right. chance to get that randomly in one of the things that you interact with. Uh, it's kind of like a loot goblin deal where it will drop skins. Uh, there is also a die system. So when you buy a cash shop skin, you can die some of that stuff if it is dieable. 
Uh, and that's a pretty expansive system from what I've said or what I've seen rather. But I don't think there's, unless it's much later in the game, uh, I don't think there's a straight up like, I like how this random chest piece I got. So I'm going to make sure that looks like everything. There might be. I, I just haven't seen it yet. Can uh, you say two things? Yeah, two okay, things. Go. Um, some people in chat were saying like, yeah, it's a huge grind and everything, but is it fun? And the short answer is if you like ARPGs, it's an ARPG. This is essentially like what happens if you take Diablo or Grim Dawn and you cross it with a pretty generic theme park MMO with a dash of free to play. Like yep. that's that's what it's not it's not it's not rewriting anything. It's just what it does, it does well. Um so I personally like ARPGs. Uh, I know a lot of other people do too, and I think that's they're just having fun, you know, playing their characters, especially if they like the class. Like I love Artillerist. It's just fun to run around and blow stuff up. Like I think it's great. You know, my, my character's named Koboom, and that's all I do. I just blow things up with nukes. I literally have a nuclear weapon. It's great. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that I think we, we definitely What's Kurt's name? Koboom. I don't get it. Oh, 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 oh. I Koboom. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Um another thing that we'd be remiss in at least mentioning after talking about the game for so long is it absolutely sucks to play this game in EU right now. It yeah. absolutely sucks. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going on with, with NA, especially, or, or I guess we should call it NA East and NA West yeah. who have had like zero queues, no queues. But if you play in EU, then you get anywhere between like eight to 20,000 plus queues. People have been in queue for four hours. You can get kicked during the queue on the early final fantasy 14. Uh, earlier today, people couldn't even queue. They just wouldn't even yep. let them queue. They'd just fire up the game, and it would say that things were too busy. So it sucks to be in EU right now, and I really hope that they address that very quickly by either adding new servers or something. With the amount that we're seeing for the queues and how big we think the servers are, even if they added five servers, there'd still be queues. Yeah. Um, like, it, it, it's just it's just obscene how many people are trying to get in. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind, EU, if you if you want to be an EU player. Like, it's it sucks, right? And and I think I, for all of us NA people, we feel for you and we are sorry you're dealing with that. Yep. I was online last night when Europe just like started going down uh, and chat's like, I, would, I wouldn't say dead, but it's pretty slow because everyone that's watching is playing it. I actually have like fairly good viewership, but the second EU goes down, chat lights up. <laughs> it's just like server down, server down, server down, server down. <laughs> and then it becomes like, are you back in yet? Did you get back in? I can't load on this server. Oh, I'm back in on this server um yeah it's 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 bad um there was also like friday for the launch of early access the the servers were just down across the board for i think about six hours is when they eventually came lots of free to play yeah, yeah lots of free to play on on friday um and so that that's unfortunate um i i will say also when, when you're encountering 1.4 million people trying to play an online service game like if it goes smoothly, then an act of God has occurred. Yep. <laughs> or your yeah. game is shit. <laughs> no one's playing. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like trying you to said, oh, you said 1.4 million. You're Never. trying to put 1.4 million through like a pinhole is essentially what's happening. Yeah. Uh, yep. So they're suffering from and success ultimately. I will say this, you know, good on Amazon. They, they got it up as fast as they could. I think many of us were expecting problems. There were problems. Um, I will say, like, the communication was a bit um, thin for for a lot of that. Like, and what's that? 12 minutes before the servers went oh, up, yeah. they were like, so the game's going to be down. It's not only not coming up, but it's going to be down for an indeterminate amount of hours. Yeah. And then four hours later, they were like, yep, still down. <laughs> it's just like, uh, I feel like there there are some lessons that could be learned. Um, yeah. I feel like there, there's a much, there's much better ways to handle that. Um, so I, I very much hope that's on the, the tie in the priority list of, of, of things we could do better for our next launch. Cause yeah, that was, it was very bumpy. It was very bumpy. It was. Yeah. Unfortunately. yeah. Every time something like that happens, I just hear Bane. Victory has defeated you. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Um, Co, I think you might be the best versed in this because I joined your chat yesterday, today, the day prior, prior to launch. Is this game pay to win? <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, I made a video. I know. So, you, I see this question in this conversation. I was telling yeah. Zeke before we started. 
oh yeah, pay to wins conversations in Ghost Jack. Let's, yeah, let's let's talk about this. So yeah. there's all sorts of there's there's different, and I'll be I'll make this super quick. Okay, I'll make this super quick. And also, I want to tie in something else because somebody said a point that of one of my main points seemed confusing to them. So I'm going to clarify that here now on the show. Okay, all right, here we go. First of all, is this game pay to win? It all define depends on how you define pay to win. Um, if you define pay to win as the ability to buy things in the game to progress you faster than other players in the game, this game is pay to win. Yep. Yes. I would agree with you that. would also in, in under that definition, you would also classify Warframe as I was just going to make that act, yes. uh, I was gonna so ask that, that, that is that is a, a definition that many people use. Yeah. Many people use that definition. Um, some people feel that they are the majority, uh, in which case you could say, yes, this game is pay to win. Um there are other people like me that use a more classical definition of pay to win, especially when it preferred, uh, when it comes to can you pay to win over other players? So in that case, this game is pay to win when it comes to like global PvP. So if you're if you're playing this game in a PvP thing, uh, player versus player combat in the game is equalized. But if you're participating in like world first raiding and you want to have your guild raid faster than another guild. If Guild A is buying things and Guild B is not, then Guild A can pay money to be to progress faster than Guild B. So in that case, it would also be pay to win. Um, now, in in terms of like strict PvP, that's equalized. And if you're not participating in that other stuff, then it's just pay to progress, which mm -hmm. is a little bit different, but you know, not not exactly the same. So basically, for player versus player combat, it's all equalized. For player versus player, if you are like rushing for world first kind of stuff, you absolutely can buy progress and it would be faster for that. But in terms of like, can you buy things in the game to make your character stronger in player versus player combat, like traditional pay to win stuff, like there's not that kind of pay to win. There's nothing you can do. There's no open world PVP. Um, that's that's from what I hear that's meaningful. I heard there's a guild v guild component, but I'm not sure how that works. There's islands and then that have normal open player versus PVP players. on them. Yes. Yeah. Um, somebody was was confused though and was like, so in that case, would you know if you're saying that this is not a strictly pay to win game? Would you say something like, uh, um, like, uh, since there's no PvP in it, you know, would you then say, what's that? The the big RPG, the Gotcha one that came out recently, the RPG Gen Genshin Impact. Um, Genshin Impact. Would you say Genshin Impact isn't pay to win? And Gotcha is a little bit different. When when like your core experience is based on getting the option to do things that are behind a got a Gotcha gate, that's a little bit different. Like that's that's. A different discussion to have um that's like sure. its own kind of weird form of pay to win because at that point you're talking about like the core experience of the game being like even available unless you put money in um to people that are progressing faster but it's it's it at the end of the day the 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 short answer is is this game pay to win yes if you if pay to progress is at all in your definition yes this game is pay to win um, if, if you're talking about, is it pay to win to where like you, like in a traditional PVP sense, like, no, that's balanced. Yeah. Um, but in terms of pay to progress, yes, the game is pay to win. I also want to add in there, uh, when it comes to, if you're a person who's going to pull out your credit card and start buying things to level up, you're a fucking idiot just outright because the amount of materials that you'll get at tier one compared to what you'll get by just going and doing an island is like 10 to 20 times what you can get in five minutes by doing that island uh we have we have someone in our chat who uh unapologetically is a whale and was like oh i'm buying all these tier one materials I was like oh yeah how much have you bought and he said i don't know like 200 i just got five thousand in 15 minutes and you spent 20 bucks getting 200 or some shit don't fucking spend money on tier one. It is not worth your time and money. Uh, okay. It, it is absolutely not worth your time and money. Uh, I will also say the ship right here is uh, store-bought. Um, and the reason this is store-bought is because the little yellow meter that's building in the bottom will automatically be pressed by this ship skin, and it will automatically pick up items around your character to make that bar build. So if that's pay to win, then yeah. then. It is a pay to win game by that metric as well. Um, that, yeah, that's the big thing about like about the video I made. It all the like it, the, there's been so much, so many arguments I've seen, not discussions, but people arguing. Uh, no, the game is not pay to win. It's pay to progress. Yes, it is pay to win. And then, and they just get like in this mad argument. And the big problem is, is 
there's a lot of different ways you can define pay to win. So depending on how you define it, like, like before people even talk about pay to anything, like they have to make sure they agree on what the definition of pay to win is. Like, because a lot of people hold that, that old traditional pay to win thing that I do, where you're talking about pay to win PVP, PVP combat, where like, like World of Tanks, buying the gold ammo, yeah. uh, old Korean MMOs, where you could actually, the only way you could get attack up potions is if you bought them with real money. Like that's what, that's what the pay to win is that a lot of us use. So if you use that definition, it's like, no, this game isn't pay to win because all the, the PVP combat's equalized and everything. But then if you're, if you're like, no, 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 pay to progress is pay to win because I'm a world first raider and I care about doing the raids first. It's like, okay, well, yeah, in that case, you're right. If that's your definition, then yes, it is pay to win. If you're using my definition, then no, it's not pay to win. So it all depends on what you're doing. It depends on how you're going about it. Uh, it it's, it's, and that's where these arguments seem to come from. Nine times out of 10, when you see two people arguing about pay to win in this game, it's because they're not using the same definition. Of pay to win. Yeah. Yeah. I also call me old, I, I maybe call me new age. Having a discussion about pay to win in 2022 is, is it's about as stupid as arguing about difficulty in games for me. Like it's already ingrained in so many systems. If, if that puts you off, just don't play the game, right? Like yeah. none of this is going to change in the industry. It is standardized to the fucking most standard practice. I, th I think it's fair to be concerned about it in its most egregious forms. I don't think this game has it in its most egregious forms. So if that's, if that's that. the big thing, then that's it. Like, for instance, if it did have the ability <coughs> to buy, if you could go to the shop and you could buy a potion that made that gave you 10% more power <laughs> in competitive PvP for five bucks. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh shit. Like, okay, wait a second. Like that, that's actually, that's actually like a big problem, but that's, that's, that's the kind of thing where it's like, we need to, with, this needs to be talked about and maybe, maybe I wouldn't play the game. Yeah. For me, the answer like is, oh, I don't play that game and yeah, I move on exactly, with my life. Exactly. But and then I would be like, that game's pay to win. I'm not interested. Yeah. Like that's, that's yeah. the kind of thing I would do. So, I mean, it's, it's okay to have discussions about this. Um, I just think it's a, I feel like, I feel like any game that has a cash shop, we need like an ESRB rating system. You know how you can look at an ESRB thing? It's <laughs> sure. like, this game is teen because it has drug references and alcohol references and strong sexual themes. I feel like we needed something like that for a cash shop. Like, this is a, 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 a pay to progress game because you can buy these types of things. And you can, you know, like, like you can, it's just put it up front, make it apparent. So it's like every time a game like Lost Ark comes out, we don't have to have this discussion. Okay, there's a cash shop. Let's break down what that means in the next half an hour. Tell yeah. me everything you can buy off it. Well, how it affects your character. Da, 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 da. And it becomes like this be big like the, thing. Like the like the like threat of, of wildfire meter, like the rainbow meter. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a big the difference the between game. cash shops like Genshin and cash shops like like Lost Ark. Like there that's a big difference. Um Here. because like one of them is going to like design to get money if you want to have a the optimal vanilla gameplay experience. And Lost Ark isn't like that. Lost Ark is like, oh, you're enjoying the experience? Well, you can get there a lot quicker if you want to give us more money. Or you can just keep doing what you're doing, and it's not going to be any different. So, you know, sure. that's, that's a different type. It's a different flavor of, of, of cash shop. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting discussion. But at the same time, again, it devolves into such vitriol. That's, that's um, what I was about to say. If you're not, if you're not, in the, if, if you're not all on the same page, then it just becomes messy. And nobody's going to get their point across. The duality, That's why I made the video. The duality of Twitch chat, Zeke. That, uh, this person says, uh, so it's not as bad as Genshin. It's fine. Jesus, the reaching, trying to say this game isn't pay to win. We literally said this game's pay to win. The next line, hey, what boat skin is that? <laughs> that's, I, just, I love that. I think that's hilarious. See, even, even, even me, like I'm in both camps. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like the game is pay to win if you're doing this, but it's not pay to win. If you use the definition I grew up with, because that was a concern we dealt with. It's right. not pay to win. If you're looking from a PVP perspective component, like it's not pay to win for that. It is pay to win. If you're a world first Raider and you're trying to get to the end game content as fast as possible. It's like, it, it's, it's, you know, what are you trying to win at? Yeah. Win can mean a lot of things. Yeah. It, it's an ambiguous <laughs> so it's thing. Like, for, for sure. a casual player, it's not pay to win because they don't give a shit. They're not trying to win anything. So it's like, it's not pay to win for them. They don't care. They're right. not going to do it, you know? So it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. Here's, here's the other crazy thing, which is, uh, it's very interesting to watch. So one of the things is you can straight up buy gold in game. 
You can transfer crystals to gold. The gold rate constantly changes depending on what the economy is doing in game. Another interesting thing is when you finish uh, world bosses, or, or sorry, uh, uh, I don't know what the actual term is. They're basically daily quests that spawn in the map. Uh, in the, the world map, when you finish that, it drops a treasure map, usually a legendary treasure map, uh, which is a highly sought after item. The way that the game handles that is the treasure map is then in a live auction scenario brought into the raid for all 30 people to bid on and it starts ticking down. It's like, do you want to bid this amount of gold? You'll be able to be in first place. And it just constantly starts doing that. We had a map last night and my daily go for 1500 gold, which is a lot of gold. I have 1700 on my person uh, with 50 hours played. Co probably is about like eight or 900. I would rather. I have 250. Okay, 250. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and a lot so of gold. that person is, unless they just have made a killing on the auction house, which I'd be surprised, that person probably purchased that gold with real money. There's no way that they did not. That's an absurd amount of gold. Um, and so, like, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to, they're also completely stupid for spending that much. That's an insane amount of money, most likely, being spent there. But there's definitely, like, going to be whales in this game walking around okay and also real quick just just to address this real quick in chat like one again perspective is really important with pay to win because i see someone saying well if all you can do is buy stuff to get there faster like how is that pay to win think if you are playing this from the perspective of a raider yeah. and your sole purpose of the in this game is to get to the end game content as fast as possible and the second it hits you beat it world first like that that by definition, that progress that you're talking about there is the act of playing the game. Like doing that is the game. So if someone can buy it while you're while you have to slog through it without paying money, that is pay to win in your perspective. So it 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 you know now again, if you're not a world first raider, you don't care about that. But if you are, then it absolutely matters. Like it absolutely matters. So it's it's just because it may not matter to you does not mean it doesn't matter to other people. And that's one of the reasons well, these global terms don't fit so poorly because it's like... Co, you want us to think about how it affects other people? In 2022? I don't... I don't know about this, man. You, you, you've gotten... Something's changed. You know? Somebody in chat was saying, was Co using paid stuff to level faster? Absolutely. I had a I had a platinum founders pack, which gave me this little aura called crystalline aura. You click on that and it says, "Oh, I thought it leveled me faster." Maybe it gives it you it, it makes teleporting free. Doesn't you? XP gain per minute. Oh no, no, that's the stronghold can't. Oh well, no, I thought that gave me fat. But anyway, I thought I guess I'm not. It does make teleports free. You it made have teleports, teleports free, but those good. are no. I may have not leveled. But needless to say, yeah. I absolutely have been playing with cash store buffs on me. Yeah. You want to see that? Because I have a founder's pack. Yeah. Because uh, I played early. Everyone who played early has a founder's pack. So if you if you paid money, you got the little crystalline aura buff thing. And that's been going. Have I put in any additional money than my pack? No. Yeah, I haven't. I, haven't I, I have the little pack thing going. So, you know, there's well, there's that. But then again, you like, you know, I'm not advertising being a, a, a free player. So when you talk about like this pay to win thing, it like, I was trying to think of something, like, a, a comparison to make. If you want to be, like, a raid, like, world first or whatever. That's That seems to be, like, something you would plan for. Like, you'd know, like, ahead of time, like, this like this shit requires some cash injections. Oh, yeah. As a, like, entering a race, like a motorcycle race, you want to, like, make sure you have the best motorcycle, right? And that's going to take some money and shit like that. If, if that's what you care about, right? That becomes has become part of it. I mean, yeah, I, um, I'm aware that a lot of you're, people... You're fair, make it, make it different, like, you know, make a different leaderboard for, like, we did it without money and we did it with money. Here's, here's the thing, though. You're, you're right. <laughs> you're you're absolutely boss. right. <laughs> Going and understanding that situation obviously is an, an important thing. But at the same time, it's like, in some of those cases, if it would cost, like, thousands of dollars per person. Like, it, it becomes to a point where it's like, Unless you're like a guild of like a like if there was a guild of millionaires and they could just drop hundreds of thousands of dollars on the game, like content could come out and they could just like, uh -oh. that's 
that's on me. Top tier resources. Okay. That's on me. Okay. I'm 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 F there we go. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, so it's the kind of it's 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 you can go in knowing that a game has pay to progress faster techniques, which is pay to win in what you're doing or pay to win purchases. But at the same time, it's totally unreasonable to partake in those unless you're like a million. Yeah. Um, I will. Also... Somebody was talking today, I think, about how there's a person who has like seven hundred thousand dollars in the Korean version, um, and they're one of the and they're one of the top players. Um, and like the top free to play player to keep up has twenty four active alts that they're playing every single <laughs> time. Um, so now I need I to confirm that. that the guy the guy Wait, dropped that true. and I highlighted a message and I was like, can you confirm that? And I didn't hear back from him for the rest of the day. So maybe maybe other people in chat can confirm that. Um, but the point is, is it's like That's some crazy. of that stuff is is not possible. Like you, if you're gonna play a game with a guild, like a lot, think of the the average MMO player, you're not exactly going in being like, okay, I'm gonna spend. Seven thousand dollars this raid period to keep up with everyone else. Like, that's not the point. That's not why you're playing these games. You know, you're not playing games for World First on how quickly you can spend money. Yeah, like that's the point. They're they're talking about that. They hear that that stuff's in the game, and they're like, maybe I don't want to play this game then. Like maybe me and my guild will go to a game where you can't do that. Um, that's the difference. That's the difference. Well, <laughs> I don't know, man. It just it just seems to me like this. If if the game like has this system involved, then the people who are the most skilled at the game oh. uh, better get a millionaire friend. I'm just like, <laughs> yes, I mean, yes, exactly. I'm it's, the best or, or guild, or in the guild world, be but I need Absolutely. someone to pay for my fucking car. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm kind of, I'm somewhat talking out of my ass here, but I I think the logical loop for me in terms of like we're talking for world first raiders. World of Warcraft raiders that do world first take loans of gold out from other guilds to help them uh, with progression of pots and flask and all that stuff. I'd be very surprised if there's not money exchanging hands behind the scene for those loans. I don't think they just say, you owe us 100,000 gold. I'd probably think that there's some sort of money involved in that. Real money. not pay, Not like paper money they're not play money uh, <laughs> so it kind of exists at all different regions wow's not like this bastion of of uh it exists in everything when you're getting to that. how dare you insult world of warcraft like that <laughs> yeah. that's that's blasphemy yeah, yeah. um is there is, is there anything I, I might have missed this part but is there anything in the game that you that you ha have to use real money for can you get everything in the game Yes. Just by grinding and doing all that stuff. Yes. So there, okay. There are stuff in the game that you can only get using real money. Oh no, no, there is not. You, okay. you can gain everything you in the game just by grinding stuff. Game out. currency yeah. or the material that you can buy for money. Yeah. So if you, but now again, like for some Except of the skins. like do everything and yeah, there are some cosmetic stuff. Um, but in terms of in terms of like the store, you can you can actually give in-game money for the currency on the store that you would normally buy with money, so then you could purchase it just like somebody who bought that currency. Right, JP? You know more about this than I do. I was reading Twitter. State that again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like me for most of the show. Yes. Um, Look, so, everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. Okay? Yeah, everybody, everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. <laughs> I, was just, I was just making sure. You can buy the, the purchased currency with in-game money. Yes. So you can essentially, like, you, you can, can become a mogul of trade in game, and then you could just buy a bunch of the currency that you would normally buy with money, and then be able to buy the same things. Yes, there is some sort of transaction that goes both ways. Yeah, cool. Yeah, great. It's a long process, from what I'm aware, or from okay. from what I believe. And I I also think someone said yesterday in chat didn't verify it, but someone said that once you hit tier three, the amount of gold that you can earn in game skyrockets compared to what you're getting in tier mm -hmm. one. And so that might also impact the market and, and what you can actually get and all that stuff. But yeah, I remember. Oh, like the MMO can, can I you buy? Sorry, last question. Can <laughs> you buy royal crystals with in-game money? I guess that's that's like the yes or no question for chat. Can you buy the royal crystals? I only know them money? by what they look like. I didn't mean to interrupt you there, Zeke. I'm sorry. No, you can't. Okay, chat is saying you can't. Okay. Okay, so there is a part you can only buy. There you go. That answers your question. Sorry, Zeke. Go ahead. 
No, that's right. I was just I was just gonna make a comment. Like I remember when I first started playing WoW and I had a couple of friends who had been playing it for a while and they're like, Hey, how you doing on money? I'm like, Oh, I got this and this and like, here's two gold and I'm like, Whoa, it's a fortune. Yeah. Oh, what have I done for you to rain this this bounty down upon me? <laughs> yeah. I haven't really encountered uh in terms of the actual in game in-game currency i haven't encountered anything where it's like man i just don't have that type of money apart from that live auction that happened after the raid for that one particular item which <laughs> as far as i've been told only happens for that one particular raid type it doesn't happen in all the other raids you just get items um fuck you are looking at here are you fucking riding ladybugs yeah there's a part in the story oh, yeah. it's uh, a honey i shrunk the kids yep mini game. You, get, you get shrunk in, down world. in, in a world yeah. uh and th that's that's one of the wild aspects about the game in, in terms of like the fantasy genre that exists it's got fucking everything in this game there's a there's a witcher continent co hasn't been to yet there is a final fantasy 7 midgard continent which oh i love that to. oh my god <laughs> there so is, good there's so good there there is a entire um like olduar type raid when it comes to elementals uh area there are your normal grand fantasy. There's demons. There's the mistress of dreams. Like it's, it's got so much of like a genre in it that it really kind of goes into every single one ultimately in terms of what you're interacting with, um, with kind of this underlying story at the back of all that, which story is not the greatest, uh, but it's serviceable. The cutscenes are kind of fun, like they're anime e. You get to watch a bunch of people punch real fast, <laughs> do demon things, and blow shit up. But yeah, it's, it's you can watch the cutscenes and kind of skip through the dialogue and spam G a bunch, which is the auto progression thing. The is, button is there press. a golden saucer like thing, perhaps? Uh, there is probably. I want to say there's an island that does have something along those lines. I'm looking at chat because I I have not been to it, but islands are kind of uh, I Very good know. time to mention, by the way. I, I've seen some people in chat like <laughs> making multiple comments about why don't these guys know everything? We've only been playing this game for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we are by no means authority. There are people that have been playing this game a lot. And yes. we definitely recommend seeking those people out if you want like much more in depth analysis and more information. There's a reason we keep asking questions to chat. Exactly. Because we're still learning it's, a lot of this world and how this stuff works. The, so the game keep is keep that also, in mind. We're not authorities on Lost Ark. No, not at all. The game is also stupid huge. There's yeah. I've played 50 hours and I've probably seen uh, maybe half of what there actually is to see in the game. Um yeah. so it's it's very huge. Also, Zeke, there is a cas casino island according to uh someone I trust in chat. So yeah, there's a gold saucer type place. Islands are kind of this weird thing that uh the developer even kind of the the head developer uh, creative director whatever his title is uh even made a reference to it where someone was like oh the success of squid game is is really been crazy this past year will we ever see anything like that in game and his answer was like islands can really consist of anything so maybe they're going to patch in a random island that has a squid game mechanic to it there's one where you turn into a panda there's one where you talk to a bunch of fucking birds <laughs> It's like there's a crazy amount of stuff going on in the island system in this game. Uh, and they all give very, that's honestly rewards. the most exciting thing I'm looking for in end game is the fact that there's a world to explore that I can't possibly just look up everything on Google about. So it's like just going from Island to Island and seeing what's there. That is one of the most attractive parts of the end game for this game for me. Yeah. Like the farming and stuff. Cool. I've done that a hundred times in other MMOs, but actually having like 90 plus islands to just ride around and check out and see what's there. That's, I know. Awesome. Yeah. They're kind of awesome. So if I were to say bad things that I don't like, uh, the Island system is very fucking confusing, uh, sometimes. Cause you'll actually go to an Island and you won't be able to complete said Island unless you have a certain song from another Island or another quest line that just exists somewhere in the world. And so that's where like guides, since the game is figured out, really come into play here there's like a rush to tier three guide and it's kind of an inaccurate name because it's really like do these steps if you want to be able to not just wander about and get lost on island to island uh because right here on this particular map like every single one of those points 
those are islands that you can go to. There's a massive amount of things. And sometimes you'll just go to an island and walk around and do a quest, and then you get blocked because you don't have a certain thing to progress that story forward. Um, and that's where it kind of gets annoying in a lot of ways. Like if, if that is something that you don't necessarily like, uh, the sound of that, you're going to run into some issues with the game. Um, I mean, how many songs are there? In terms of outside of the main story quest songs, there's probably like 10 or 11 that you can pick up. There's a lot. Oh, wow. Uh, you're going to be spending time at Lullaby Island. Co. And here's, let me tell you about Lullaby Island. Lullaby Island is on a two hour timer for an event that happens. You got to be there every two hours in order to unlock a song, which allows you to progress on another island by getting the song to finish the quest there that you need for upgrades for your main gear score. So that's what you're getting into ultimately is a lot of timers. Um, That little, the little blue thing right here, right below me on the side, that's an in-game timer tracker. It tracks every event happening in the game with how much time is left for that event to occur. Uh, and you'll be paying attention to that a lot. You can also say like, don't al- don't keep the alarm for this specific thing because I don't care about it, but I do care about this. So it, there's a lot of like, um, a lot of people are going to be super turned off by this. I understand, but it's what I, it's how I can relate to it. Having played a bunch of mobile games this past year, There's a lot of mobile game bullshit in this game when it comes to timers, when it comes to having multiple, multiple amounts of currency. Reminds me of like basically a mobile game. We didn't talk about it yet. You get a, yeah, you get a stronghold. You get an island that has timers, which is basically if you played World of Warcraft, it's your garrison, right? You send things out to do certain things with a actual timer attached to it where this quest is going to be finished in X amount of time. Can you speed that progress up if you pay money? Absolutely. Do you gain anything for it? Not really. Uh, strongholds are basically used for a crafting resource at in game, from what I've been told. But yeah, uh, strongholds definitely exist. I, I have not interacted with it too much. It has an entire leveling process to it. Um, but it's just a flat out like timer thing uh, that I think is used for crafting for raiders to make like potions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot. Like I'll I'll be probably interacting with the game for at least till Friday when Horizon comes out, and then it'll probably become a, a nighttime game where I'll put four or five hours into it a night. Um, so hopefully by then I'll have a full grasp on the situation because right now I just have a bunch of guides that I'm checking out. Um, this guy's really cool. Have either of you uh, done any like group stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I've done some of the yeah. raids. They're hard. Um, they require, uh, what would I say? You can have the best gear in the world, but if you don't understand the mechanic, you're going to die immediately. It does not care what type of gear you have. You cannot survive. They are instant kill stuff if you don't like do the mechanic. Uh, And that's been fun. I've been with people that I know and and people that are complete randoms. And we've been able, we wipe a bunch, right? And say like, hey, you got to do, you got to do this. Or you go north, I go south, you go west, you go east. Time it, look at the debuff. You'll look for this icon to happen in the raid. When that happens, go do this, that type of thing. Uh, it's not insurmountable, but it's it's fun. Um, I haven't done like any of the hard, hard content. I know Co watched a video, uh, which is like the hardest fight in the in the game. I've seen that video as well. Fuck that fight. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. It, it's like it's definitely designed just to be mind numbingly difficult. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's it is, just it is, hard. It's just, just crazy. It's amazingly difficult. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a door boss, which means that you do one boss to fight the actual boss uh, in rating terms. And the door boss alone is like a 15 minute fight that has, I don't know, like 32 different permutations of how the fight can actually go with the a bunch, like 200 health bars where like every 20 health bars is a brand new gimmick that's introduced where it's like a pattern recognition and like- And so many of those. Yeah. Oh, and uh, so if you don't have enough points by the time these three things don't touch, so the AOE doesn't go into the, that's a wipe. Yeah. And then if you, if this hits in this area instead of this area, that's a wipe. And if he looks at you cross-eyed, that's a wipe. And did you drink orange juice this morning? Cause that's definitely a wipe. Yeah. Um, that's wild. Mm. And it's not for progression. It's just there for bragging rights. Like it's not a part of the, as, as far as I know, it's, it's a fight that exists for people that want to interact with that content. You don't have to do that to progress the story. How many people uh, max? 
Uh, eight people in the bigger raids, four person in dungeons, guardians, wow. normal parties. Um, you can, I don't know what that was. You can progress around with, uh, with four people in a party and do the main story. Is it, is it, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm reiterating questions. Tell me if you already spoke about it. No, that's fine. Uh, but, um, the class. We're barely listening too. Don't worry. Like the, uh, the synergies, is it classic shield tank DPS nope. or, there are, or, or. There's two support shield. classes. There's there's no holy trinity. Uh, okay. There's two support classes. Uh, you don't need them uh, okay. to do any of the content, at least at the start. Obviously, when we're doing like that hardest raid. You want a support class and three DPS um, or three other classes. There's not really a tank. The closest thing to tank is uh, there's one class that has a taunt, but it doesn't doesn't matter all that much. Paladin? Uh, no, it's. It's uh, Gun Lancer, I think, is the one with the taunt. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's really like uh, if you've done Final Fantasy fights, everything is kind of telegraphed. There's giant uh, like red spheres on the ground that you have to bob and weave in and out of. Uh, there's very little actual healing um, that can be done through like a spell. Paladins have a heal spell, I think. It's like every 30 seconds and bards have a heal it's on a little bit longer of a cooldown, um, but it's really about like managing your own person, your own character and not getting hit by mechanics and, and getting out of all that stuff. There's like a dodge roll that is uh, on a different cooldown for different classes. So if you're not going to quite make it out of an attack, you can dodge roll to safety uh, type deal. There's also attacks that have like super armor, which is invulnerability or close to it, which you can kind of get out of attacks with. But yeah, no Holy okay. Trinity, which is nice. Uh, and every class is essentially good. There's not really a bad class. So you can, yeah, I mean, you can go class any, in any dungeon, any raid with any any class. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I, I, went, I went through the entire story so far, fifty plus hours of content as a support class, and I had no issue playing it on quote unquote hard mode. So you can get through it oh. all. It, it's it's balanced in that sense. That'll that'll change obviously as I get much later in the game. I know my class will be doing less damage. I know my class already does less damage than other classes, but it's it's normalized in that sense. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking at chat, seeing if there's any other questions. How many are there? How many classes are there? Is, is there fifteen? Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen with uh, but there there's four all classes of four archetypes. Yeah. 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 There's okay. uh. I don't know the archetypes off the top of my head. Martial artist. Martial artist. Uh, marksman. Gunner. Gunner. Yeah, gunner. I forgot what the bard or the caster one is. There's 15 for now. There's a lot of classes that are in Korea that aren't released in the U.S. Uh, there's a class called artist. There's a class called summoner. Um, there's like two or three others. Warrior. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, those are the four. Warrior, gunner, martial artist, and mage. And then each one of those has archetypes that are like more specialized versions. So like Gunner has mine, which I'm an artillerist. I use like a giant gun and then just like sharpshooter that uses a sniper rifle. And then there's what? Deadeye? Or wait, maybe Deadeye uses a sniper. There's one that has like the pistols. Gunslinger. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, Gunslinger oh, assassin. uses three different assassins. Oh, there's five. Oh, cool. So there's, there's a Gunslinger and a Gun Lancer? Yeah. yeah. Gun, gun Lancer has like a giant, they're like a melee, like giant shield and gun lance so a lance with a gun kind of like think like final fantasy 8 like squall kind of deal yeah also so mm -hmm. um all of the the classes are gender locked um right now yeah yeah you can't be a male bard for example you can't be a female uh artillerist you have to be a male artillerist for whatever gotta be a, gotta be a guy to use the big guns they like, can't <laughs> mm -hmm. gotta be a, gotta yeah. be a guy if you want to play no. music well i'm sorry you gotta be a girl well, I mean, like I came from the days where we had hero quests, and you just got a a card with your character on it. Like you didn't get to choose nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to choose. You got to choose which card you wanted. That was it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's. I guess that's Lost Ark in a nutshell. Did you see any other questions, Zeke, or did you have any of your own? Uh, not really. Like, what? Okay, for you, actually, both of you now. I forgot. Uh, that go in and made his way through. So for you guys, is this any sort of comparison as far as the the fun factor or the the what you get out of your time investment to Final Fantasy fourteen? 
For me, yeah. I mean, it's I haven't played Final Fantasy fourteen in a month, uh, but that's just because of other games and League of Legends addiction. But uh, do I see this like replacing the Knights for Final Fantasy fourteen? Yeah. I mean, it, it'll probably fill a lot of the void uh, for me um, well, for at least a little while. I, I don't know. The raiding aspect might come into play where the raids are just like too demanding of time uh, as other games come out. Um, contractually, I will be playing at least 12 hours of this throughout the rest of the month on stream. <laughs> uh, set, yeah, so we'll go set through four different uh, streams or sorry, three different streams for four hours each. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've put 50 hours into it since Tuesday, uh, and wake up every morning thinking like, man, I really should probably spend time with other people or call someone about something that I need to, but that Makoko seed's not going to get itself. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to go and click that thing. Uh, <laughs> which, sure. yeah, it's, it's got some, uh, some addictive hooks in me for sure. Uh, the game is designed around FOMO in a lot of ways. So I have okay. actually not watched a lot of other streams that are ahead of me because then I immediately have the urge to be like, got to add that to the list. I need to go do that island. He's just got a lot of rewards. Mm -hmm. Got X, Y, and Z. I should maybe go check that out. Um, and I think that's what a lot of viewers are, are experiencing as well of like, man, he got that doing that. Got to add that to my to-do list. Uh, I gotta go do that raid. Oh, that looks really cool. What'd you do there? Oh, you did an entire island. It takes five hours. Well, I'll add that to my list. Uh, <laughs> right. There's a lot of that, uh, which I will probably experience if I, if I do venture out to some of the, the higher geared streams that exist out there. Cause there's like, for example, I'm five, five sixty or five eighty gear score. Uh, tier two is 600 tier three is 1300. There's people that are approaching tier three content right now. Um, that's crazy to me that they are. I just unlocked Abyssal Dungeons and I don't even have the item level to do them. 302? Yeah. 340. Or 340. Yes. You need to do Chaos Dungeon. If you do a Chaos Dungeon twice, Co, you'll get a full uh, set of 302. I don't even know what a Chaos Dungeon is. Alternatively, I... if you, <laughs> if oh, you go and do the entire island uh, north of you, and the Witcher Island, you'll get a full set of 302 gear. Alternatively, if you make an alt, you'll actually do that island automatically and get a full set of 302 gear on your alt. Which Can I then... make an alt of my own class? I don't know how that would work. Uh... <laughs> I just have like a team of artillerists with big guns. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Give myself a 21 gun salute. You could. I guess you can. Yeah, chat saying you could. There's you no reason that you couldn't. It. It would just be the old one. I'm not gonna waste it, but that's 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 funny. So wait, what? If I have a full 302, I can do a 340 dungeon. No, so you do. <laughs> Here's how the actual gearing system works. If you guys want to know oh how God. involved it is, uh, oh God. if you go and do chaos dungeons, the chaos dungeons will drop 302 gear. You can then. Okay with the items that you also get from doing the chaos dungeons, as well as islands, which you should look up an island guide so you can get a shit ton of these, you can then upgrade that gear very easily to 340. Using harmony stones? Using harmony stones and a bunch of other destruction stones and, and another thing, which you'll have surplus of. Okay. At, at least at the start. Um, there is a, a like min max way to handle all that. Uh, but it involves like finishing an entire continent. So that's up to you. Yes, screw that. Ollie doesn't want to do that. He's very upset about it. Um, there's a lot of guides, which I can yeah. link you to if you want. I, I know. Okay. The, <laughs> now, how the fuck do people have time? That's a good question. How the fuck do people have time to make guides? That means they're not playing the game. Game's been out in Korea for two years. Oh. That's why it's figured that out. I had no idea. Yeah. I did not know any of that. Yeah, that's Holy that's shit. why it's figured out. The game has existed in Korea for about a little over two years. I had not. I had no idea. So we're shit. we're we're essentially playing old content. Uh, okay. That that has been yes. figured out. The game has been out for four years in Korea. Is it four? Over that? Oh, it's four. Okay. Five or maybe five. Longer than longer than four years. <clears throat> I would know because I think it's been in in Russia for five years, maybe, and then Korea maybe a little bit longer. But anyway, here's the deal. The client that we have is like two years in 
with mixed and mixed things from other updates as well. Got it. Okay. So we have we have like a special mixed but still behind version of our client, from what I understand. There's entire classes that like one of them I know I want to play called Scouter. Yeah. And that class is not that class is out in Korea and I think Russia too. And it is not out in our client. Uh, also the ability for any gender to be any class is something that is in the other version. It is not in ours yet. So things like that. Yeah. But that yeah. means we kind of have a, a light roadmap. We don't know exactly when these things are happening, but we know that they're all coming into Lost Star. So eventually. Yeah. So they have uh, Korea has more content than we have available or not? Yes. Korea has okay. more content because the game has been out longer and it is more developed. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to just release the stuff that Korea has already seen periodically to us or to everyone yes. else. Yeah. Not us. I mean, like the theoretically, whole Korea will always. I, I don't know if they're planning on some kind of equalization wanna, thing in the future. I think they're going to try. Where they're going to catch up. But at least for a while, Korea will have significantly more than we will here. Yeah. I think they're going to try. It's it's again the the creative the plan is catch up. Chad is saying, yeah, the plan is eventually that it will catch up. That is, uh, I mean, well then, I mean that takes the pressure off of raid rule firsters then, like that are from NAEU. Like yeah, they already, they already did it, I already did it, but sorry, you're too late. Yeah, somewhat. Uh, it, it it's staggering to me that there is still so much more content in this game that I have not even interact there there is there is an entire item that is not unlocked on my character yet until tier three which i don't even know if we have access to yet in north america uh it's like wristbands or some shit i don't even know what those do um the amount of like side progression they call it horizontal progression or or uh different ways to interact with your class that are like class defining stuff it, the systems are so absurdly uh expansive uh, and also like a little bit mobile gamey in the sense of like, you have to have 20 of the same item to unlock this thing. Uh, and then once you get 20 of the green versions, then you can get 20 blue versions. And once you get 20 blue versions, you get 20 purple versions. And once you get 20 purple versions, you get 20 legendary versions. And once you get 20 legendary versions, you get 20 red versions. <laughs> and that's just this kind of part of the progression. No, thanks. Yeah. There's an entire card system in the game. It's not a trading card game, uh, but it gives you small passive upgrades and that is also the same system. However, card uh, the card system has sets. And so it's like six cards that you have to get green, blue, uh, epic, purple, legendary, orange, or relic red in order. I don't know if actually relic cards exist. In order to get like small percentage increases. Wait a minute. Did you just rattle off Kool-Aid flavors? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Legendary orange, relic red. <laughs> or you can just play PvP and not worry about any of this because then we'll just use the same shit in PvP. Do you get in so in PvP, do you have an awakening skill and or engravings? I think if uh if I if How does you look work? at your book of coordination, you do get to pick an awakening skill. Okay. Um, but I think you just get to like you get to pick from it. I don't think there is engravings done. Okay, chat's saying no engravings. Yeah. Got it. Engravings oh. are. Like I, dude, that's been honestly some of the most fun for me in this game has been PvP. Yeah. I've probably played like a hundred matches. Damn. I, I actually really enjoy it. It's really fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't interacted with the PvP at all. It's um, really cool. The fu funny enough. Cards are great in PvP too. That's what everyone says. Uh, funny enough, one of the, the objectives for this uh, like Legends of Lost Ark thing that uh, Ko and I are part of was initially win 40 PvP matches. But the in-game system for tracking wins in PvP matches would Busted. reset. Every it still is. It every still time is. you log out, it resets to zero. So a bunch of so people angry did about that. This. And then they said, actually, we can't track this. So we're going to take away this goal. And so then they just, you don't get points for PvP anymore uh, within this Legends of the Lost Ark system. It has nothing to do with anything in-game. But it's just like, I saw so many people like Ko that were just hounding and fiending for this PvP. And then they're like, Actually, we're not so going to get points for that. So do yep. something else. PvP on this fun. sounds awful. It's actually really fun. And the thing about PvP in this game is none of that other stuff feeds into it. You don't yeah, have to have a super developed character. It's all normalized. You don't need to do any of that stuff. And 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 it, and you can still have fun with PvP. Yeah. 
Uh, when were you PvPing, Co? If I was going to put the That's the problem. I like uh, yesterday. Okay. Yesterday, just whenever I want to. Yeah, okay. it, my game keeps bugging out and queuing me up, even though I'm focusing on the main quest like a laser. It's weird. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm just going to be able to find it randomly in the footage. It's, it'd be difficult. Yeah. The matches are really quick, and I, and I space them out. So. Got it. What kind of PvP is it? it? What, like, mode, game mode? Like, 3v3 is the big thing that I've been doing. I think there's, like, a team elimination and a death match, but I've been doing 3v3, and it's, it's been a lot of fun. So it's just basically kill the other team? That's it. Kill the other team. When you die, you respawn immediately. Usually matches are just a few minutes, and um, you just do as much as you can in, in that amount of time. It's really fun because there's like, you know, all the class synergies are good, and you get to come up with your own build. You get all the abilities in the game available to you. You can rank up and change them however you want. Anytime you rank an ability up to 10, there's like two, uh, two tiers of sub abilities that each have three choices, and then one kind of final tier that has two big choices, and those completely change how the abilities work in a lot of ways. So not only do you have like a big pool of abilities to pick from, but then when you've picked your eight, you then like spec those out and those can be different as well. So there's a lot of customization and a, you know, a lot of stuff in that. Here's Sacreal PVPing, uh, cause I know he PVPs a lot and it was easy to find. Uh, also, if you're wondering why this game looks like this, uh, 21 by oh, yeah. nine actually shows you more of the game. And so even people with 16 by nine monitors, specifically in PVP will utilize it because you can just see more. Really um, dumb. Yeah, it's it's kind of it it kind of pisses me off a little bit. <laughs> That's the case. But it is what it is, I suppose. Oh, there's also an entire uh trade trade craft like you can harvest uh yeah. you can do mine mining uh lumber shit wood uh, relic. There's like six or seven life skills, I think is what they're called. So That's all just a part of the game as well if that wasn't overwhelming enough. Uh, already to begin with but. oh yeah ultra it is pay to win it's ultra wide you have to buy an ultra wide no you just toggle this on. no you don't you just toggle it look at the black bars <laughs> in the top yeah. of his screen you just toggle the mode on and it stretches even on a 16 by 9 no 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 yeah look he's wide. not playing on an ultra wide there's two giant bars yeah. on the top and bottom of and his guys, screen here's it just how makes you know the picture smaller how we're not lying sacriel thinks that a vertical monitor and a, a normal monitor are two different things. And it's not just a monitor that you shift sideways. So there's no way this man could understand how to set up an ultra wide monitor. <laughs> That's just not how it works. <laughs> Little shot at, uh, at our buddy Sacriel over there. Anyways. <laughs> I heard they don't have vertical monitors in Britain, so it's understandable. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Uh, I heard the way Sacriel uh, tried to stretch his monitor out was a series of mirrors like laid around <laughs> on the. That's accurate. That's accurate. He's he is in Canada now, but he's still uh, the Queen never forgets. That's true. That's what they Queen say. Never forgets. Mm -hmm. He's just a, he's just an agent of Britain. Elephants secretly Jake. living in Canada is yeah. what it is right now. Yeah. yeah. What it's elephants? What the Queen has elephants? Queen never forgets. Elephants never forget. JP. Isn't the Queen? I'm not going to finish that statement. I think we're done. For the show. I don't want that. I think I Zeke just MI6. insulted the queen. I'm pretty so. sure MI6 is oh, about to drop did, it. Yeah. Tried I, to think, make, I know. He said, uh, I think, I think, to make a statement. the queen never forgets. It's elephants never forget is the statement. I know. Zeke's fat okay. jokes about the Queen of England do not represent drop frames, its crew, or any associated opinions. Are you seriously scared of a fucking paper tiger figurehead from the UK, dude? It, he, hey, look, look, he's the one saying it, MI6, uh, right over there. Yep. His name is Zeke underscore Get him, Mr. Bond. Plays That's not for the me. Cowboys. I'm just the sexy one you sleep with, <sighs> Mr. Bond. That's who I am. Whoever's going to play you soon. Idris Elba, maybe. Dude, that'd be dope. I would like an Idris Elba Bond. Same here. We should probably end this before they come for us. Yeah. Who? Who's coming for us? The fucking exactly. Gendarme? Exactly. You don't want to know. You don't want to. No one if talks about If you're asking who's coming for you, you're already dead. You're already dead. That's how the bonds, that's how the bonds work. As the dot, like... Yeah, Sean, Sean Connery is about to bust through your door dressed as your dog and shoot kibble at you. Oh, God. They're lethal. Here. Come on. Bond finds a way. Come on, dude. Come here. Or it could be the Kingsman, I guess. Is it <clears throat> probably going to be Daniel Craig. Me with with his face Oh, that's that. Ah. He, he licked a Komodo dragon earlier. You're dead in like three minutes. <laughs> Are Komodo dragons poisonous? Yeah, their saliva is. I think it's okay. pretty poisonous. I think. 
Isn't that how they kill their their prey? They like bite it, but then the saliva poisons them and they die. Why do I know so much about? It? Let's do some shout outs. Uh, Zeke. Yes. Tell us about your dog. I would love to. This is my dog Trick. He is uh almost two. He's gonna be two next month. Getting close to being no no longer a puppy, being an adult. And uh, he wants he always wants kisses. He always interested in give kisses. Uh, all right. So the today after today, my weekend, quote unquote, my weekend starts. So I will be back on Tuesday, and Tuesday is great because that's the first day of indie week. We're gonna uh, since we did see Ramathon, we didn't do any indie indie days. So we're gonna do five days in a row of nothing but indie games, and we did uh, a lot of selection of those games on uh, yesterday, and we have a nice list to pick from. So come on in. We got we're gonna have six per day that you can vote on and. And uh, see what gets played and all that kind of shit. So should be a fun week coming up. And then uh, you may ask, what about Horizon? Well, that's a game for old Zeke to, to play on his own. I'm going to play that one. It's going to be my, my relaxing off-stream game. So, And then next week I, I got, I don't know if I showed you guys these, but I got fucking old ass Kingsfield 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to figure out how to play those next week. So nice. That's what's coming up. Thanks for watching. Cool, cool. Co, what's going on? Hi, I'm Co. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be playing Lost Ark probably for a bit this week. I'm also going to be playing Total War Warhammer 3 tomorrow, right, JP? Tomorrow too? Yeah, I think that's uh, that? 2 yeah. to 4 Eastern is when we're doing we'll that. We're doing that tomorrow, 2 to 4 with JP. We're doing a little sponsored thing. Should be fun for those who want to take a look at that. Uh, Lost Ark this week, uh, Horizon on Friday, Elden Ring next week, Enid, Elix 2 after that, Shadow Warrior after that, Ghostwire Tokyo after that, um right into weird west it's, we've got all sorts of stuff coming up so very much hope to see you guys here for it we should have a lot of fun over the next month and a half i'm also going to be moving to my studio at some point in the very near future that's going to be cool and uh yeah hope to see you guys here for it It'll be fun see you guys later tonight probably in just a couple to a few hours to for our first chaos dungeon kind of keep moving through there have fun i got a bunch of shit to do in lost Ark. <laughs> uh but i'm only gonna go i'm not gonna do a 15 hour stream today all right look i'm sorry I had four 15 hour streams in a row it's just it's not smart it's not a good idea uh so i'll probably stream it up until the super bowl uh ends so about two and a half hours if you want to get some drops and lost arc and get caught up come ask me a question or something like that if you're at all confused on what you need to be doing because trust me i'm confused on what i need to be doing and we'll figure it out together uh tomorrow there is no mcu crew uh because we are going to be playing warhammer uh with co i i are we doing co-op against each other like what is do you know i thought we were doing co-op with each other i thought we were okay. starting a little thing there i don't know though i'm really i'll, I'm I'll read the brief do. and we'll figure it out tomorrow that's yeah. uh two to four we'll be playing a lot of lost ark uh, we'll be doing our marathon uh, horizon stream starting on Friday. We'll probably go 10 hours back to back to back to back, depending on how long that game is. Uh, embargo Ooh. is uh, up for that tomorrow. Um, so we'll see how those reviews are and see what for the reviews of the game. Not for streaming. Yeah, not for streaming. Well, yeah. For, for yeah. The well hopefully not. <laughs> if it is, I don't know, but hopefully not for streaming tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The review embargo is up tomorrow. So hopefully that game gets uh, good reviews. We'll be doing JPNN and trailer time all throughout the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, if you want to get caught up on daily gaming news and or trailers uh and then yeah just more games jpd.net if you have any questions on what's on the schedule uh kind of count down to elden ring that's my my holy grail at the moment um uh, getting closer and closer zeke i just freaked out because i saw your dog and i'm not used to that yet i was like what the fuck it oh it's a Z it's a dog <laughs> he's scared of you okay. Jesus. yeah he scared me he scared me does he ever just stand in the middle do you do you Keep your dogs well. at, uh, in crates at night, or do they just wander? No, they sleep in the bedroom with us. Okay. Do they ever just? Do you ever just wake it, up and it, they're staring at you? That'd scare the shit out of me. Sometimes, yeah. Actually, yeah. they they usually we we invite them up on the bed for a little bit uh, before we go to sleep, and she she stays and he gets too hot and goes down on the floor. But she she like lives in the crook of of Katie's legs, like curled ah, up. Okay. In her yeah, that's where she lives. And because uh, she cannot, she's an attention horse. She cannot be without attention. Um, but yeah, so the, I'll be, we'll wake up sometimes and they'll be just like, yeah, we, uh, Ollie sleeps in the restroom because Ollie, uh, if he does not, will literally just sleep on top of our heads. 
He, he just walks around to the bed, gets situated, and then just sleeps on top of your head. It's really annoying. It's a dog. Movie, yep. I guess. I'm- Anyways, that's it. We'll be back next week. Talk a little Horizon, see where we're at in Lost Ark, any gaming news, and uh, we'll do it all again next Sunday. All right? We're out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, too, for being here. More Drop Frames next week. Bye-bye for now.